You're in the clef zone. Welcome to the clef zone. I'm comfortable. Drama. It's very important for people to understand. The reality is you have 400,000 at least underground right now. And we might not get to those. That's just the reality. Quote me when I tell you right now. For every success story you see, there's another 40,000 that's been buried. Now if you don't mind, my people in Haiti are watching this. So I gotta talk to them in their own language. Yo, Sunny. Sunny. Who tell you think I've got it time for you? No one is on it though. No basso na jeu pour moi. L'homme saute dans les yeux pour nous. Moi, qu'on est que l'homme Mais, pas de raison pour la crase et briser. Et chouquer. Ballon en titan. Translation, I have asked the Haitian people on the ground, of course, is going to be suffering, frustrated, violence. I tell them that I do not cry for myself, that I cry for them. And I told them, just permit us a little time. We're going to be back on the ground on Saturday and we'll be back on the ground every week until we help the situation amongst the people to go to every area, every section where these gangs is at, where the community is getting hostile because of food. And I have to start to form security teams to allow all of this aid that is coming in so that it can get in. We do not have the solution, but we have the start of what I think a solution can be. And I think a solution can be the start of an exodus. In 48 hours, 
the U.S. Army could probably set up 100,000 tents. So I think the first solution is we need a massive exodus outside of port first With the help of the Haitian government identifying land where these people can go to. This massive exodus will allow a swifter cleaning process so that we can start getting these demolition trucks in, the logistics in, so we can start to do our work. So I am maxing internationally, maxing America, Max in the Middle East. I'm asking the world. We need to migrate at least two million people in different parts outside of Port of France. We need to have an exodus. And I give you my word, if I tell them to go, they will go. But they need somewhere to go to. Which means beyond the tent, I want you to think of new communities. That is why we must move them out of Port-au-Prince and identify areas. And think of these tents that can be turned from tents into new 21st century communities. Russell, I hope you didn't Twitter that I, I cried. Did you do that? You're quicker than me on your Twitter, man. It's like, um, I want to. <laughs> The bullet brush myself off, then I see the fear clear in my enemy's eyes. I see the warrior.